Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to set up the Vertex AI and use the Gemini API. The Vertex AI is designed for developers and enterprises for use in scaled deployments. It offers features such as enterprise security, data residency, performance, and technical support. I'll show you an example of how to use the Vertex AI Gemini API in both Python and Node.js. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. In the previous tutorial, we used the Gemini API. In this tutorial, we will use the Vertex AI Gemini API. In more simple terms, we will still use the Gemini API, but using the Vertex AI. The Vertex AI is Google's platform that gives you access to Google's large generative AI models so you can test, tune, and deploy them for use in your AI-powered applications. If we compare the Gemini API with the Vertex AI Gemini API, the latter is far more complex to use, but this is because it's meant for a different use. The Gemini API is meant for hobbyists, students, or developers who are new to Google Cloud and is suitable for experimentation, prototyping, and small deployments. The Vertex AI Gemini API is, as we already said, meant for developers and enterprises for use in scaled deployments. Now, let's make the Vertex AI Gemini API work. First, sign into Google Cloud. This is the dashboard of our first project that we created in the previous tutorial. There's nothing special about it. It's just a project that was created automatically for me when I signed in for the first time, if I remember correctly. Second, enable the Vertex AI API. Click APIs and Services. Click Enable APIs and Services. Search for Vertex AI API. And enable it by clicking this button. Third, use Identity and Access Management or IAM to access Vertex AI resources. Remember how we created an API key in the previous tutorial to be able to use the Gemini API. If we want to use the Vertex AI Gemini API, we do not create an API key the same way. It's a little bit different and a little bit trickier. Forget about the uh, API key. We need to use the so-called IAM identity and access management to be able to access Vertex AI resources. This third step, consists of two sub-steps. First, find service accounts in the sidebar. Click Create Service Account. Add name and ID. And click Done. After you do this, you should see this. This is our service for our project named My First Project. I named the service My Service. Second, click on the service. Go to Keys. Click Add Key, and click Create New Key. Select JSON, and click Create. Your key should be downloaded automatically. Go to your Downloads folder in Windows, and you should find the key there. This key is how you authenticate yourself to be permitted to use the Vertex AI Gemini API. No API key, but JSON file, which serves as a key. I can show you my key with all sensitive data blurred, of course. As you can see, it has multiple key value pairs. Fourth, set the key as an environment variable. There are two important things. The variable name should be Google Application Credentials, and the variable value should be the path to your JSON file. After you set your key as an environment variable, you should see it like this. This is how we set Application Default Credentials, or ADC. ADC will search for our Google Application Credentials environment variable and look into our JSON file to see if we are permitted to access Vertex AI resources or not. If we created the key and set it as an environment variable correctly, then we should be permitted to access Vertex AI resources. Before we move on, we need to restart the computer. Don't skip this. Fifth. Install the Vertex AI Python SDK or Vertex AI Node.js SDK. 
run pip install Google Cloud AI platform. If you want to use Python SDK or NPM, install Google Cloud Vertex AI. If you want to use Node JS SDK. Sixth, write a simple script like these two. On the left, I have a Python example, and on the right, I have a Node JS example. The Node JS example is a bit more complex. To be honest, I don't know why, but it seems like the Python SDK and the Node JS SDK differ quite significantly. Anyway, in both cases, we need to import the SDK. Set the project ID and location. Initialize Vertex with our Google Cloud project ID and location. Use the Gemini Pro model. Ask a simple question like, say, hi, extract the response, and show it in the terminal. If we run this Python example, we will get a response. If we run this Node.js example, we will get a response too. Kaboom. I mean, seriously, how awesome is that? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.